And welcome back to Blackie's Bulldog Tavern here in Smithfield, Rhode Island, home of the Mike Pressler Show. I'm Mike Van Cusen, now joined by Peter McMahon, one of the junior captains of the Bryant Bulldogs lacrosse team this year. And Peter coming off a huge year, 20 goals, 30 assists. You led the team in total points. Just a great effort. You were named second team all-conference as well. But one thing i got to ask you this year, being one of five team captains, how has that been, being one of the five guys in charge of providing leadership for this team? Uh, I think having five captains is great for our team. Uh, we have, I think, upwards of 45, 46 guys on the team. So having five captains kind of divide up that, that whole leadership role uh, is huge for us. Um, we don't really have to rely on, on one or two guys to kind of overlook the entire team. So I think that having, having a large number like five really, really benefits us. Yep. And now do you guys specifically break up parts of the team that you're in charge of or you just kind of no, everybody just, takes the general role? It's just kind of... Um, it's, it's more more eyes on everybody else. It's 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 much easier than than relying on just two or three people. Right. It's 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 five of us, and, and we all work together. We all have our our pros and our cons, and yep. and we all kind of uh, feed off each other. Excellent. And how do you view your particular role on this team as a captain on mm -hmm. the field, off the field? Obviously, you know you got to always kind of be watching out for your guys. Yeah. Well, uh, this is kind of my third year at the attack position. Now that I'm named captain. Um, I'm going to kind of try to expand on my role as like the offensive uh, quarterback per se. Yep. But um, I think that, that that's really my, my role on the team. Um, I think that I, I kind of do, do a, a good job uh, being the quarterback from behind the net, from the right side, from the left side, it doesn't really matter. But um, I, I look at that as, as my, my biggest uh, attribute. Yep. Sounds good to me. Uh, what's your take on how things have been progressing since you've arrived back on campus for mini camp? You know, what kind of maybe some team building things you guys have been working on, just kind of progressing through the practices in the early part of this season? Well, I think um, the biggest change this year was the mini camp. Uh, Coach Presser brought us back a few days early. Um, that was huge for us. It kind of gave us, I think, six extra practices that we wouldn't have had if we, if we hadn't have done that. So um, that, that basically gave us a whole extra week in preparation for our first game at Colgate. So um, when, people, when people say that, yeah, we're starting late, um, we don't really have as much time, those six practices really kind of got us ahead of what we should have been. Right. And now for yourself, coming off a 50-point season, you mm -hmm. led the team in scoring. Yeah. What kind of maybe individual goals have you set for yourself, and how do those kind of tie in with the overall team goals that you guys have as well? Well, uh, last year I kind of got off to a rough start with shooting the ball. Uh, Coach P can definitely bag me up on that yeah. one. But uh, I think that, that that's really what I'm trying to focus on a lot more this year is, uh, is becoming kind of that, uh, that scorer first. Yeah. Um, last year I relied on moving the ball to other people to score, so I think kind of changing that uh, within myself is, is really focusing on scoring. And now you've set those as kind of your individual goals, mm -hmm. you know, working on your shooting and everything. What kind of team goals have you guys come up with, especially oh, I, as the captains? Yeah, I think that, that this year, it's um, it's my third year, it's Jameson, it's uh, all the other captains, it's it's their la last go. So I think that this year it's it's really tournament or bust. Yep. Um, that's, that's, that's really what we've all strived for. That's why we came to Bryant. Yep. Um, we're really excited about our our chances this year, and I, I think we're all uh, looking forward to that. Yeah, you certainly have the schedule set up for uh, some good <laughs> yeah, possibilities exactly. for some wins there. Uh, as you get set to take on Colgate this mm -hmm. weekend, do you think you guys have had enough time for prepare? Now, Colgate has already had a couple of chances to play some scrimmages against mm -hmm. other teams. They played Cornell, they played Delaware. Yeah. You guys have just had the opportunity to scrimmage against each other. Yeah. Do you think that's an advantage for them, for you guys? How do you um, see that? Like I said before, the mini camp kind of gave us those six extra practices, so. We've, uh, if if we were a step behind because of how how late our our classes start, yep. we uh, we really made that up with that mini camp. So, um, and then your second point with the scrimmages, I think that we're right we're right on set on par here. With um, we had a scrimmage last week. Um, it was a great game, uh, really high scoring offensive battle. It was good, and um, so I, I think we're we're right right there. We're ready. And now, for the second year in a row, you guys are receiving votes in some of the polls. And the coaches poll, actually, right now, you guys are in one of those receiving votes kind of teams. Is that something that you guys even worry about? Do you talk about? Do you care about? Or you just kind of put that in the back of your mind? Not really. Um, I mean, personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, yes, we, we're getting votes, but we're, we're not there yet. We haven't really broken that barrier. And I think that, that that's really what we're all looking forward to. Um, you can be knocking on the door, but you, you really want to break that top 20. 
And then finally, I just got to know, every player seems to have a routine yeah. or a ritual that they follow heading into game day. Yeah. Is there anything that you could do during that day, a song you listen to, a way you, you might tape up yourself? or Not yet. Uh, it's kind of the flow of the season. Towards the end of the year, I'm sure I'll be a lot more superstitious, a lot more needy. But um, before games, I, I really want to be like relaxed and, and treat it just like anything else. I think that that's, that's one thing that really benefits me is yeah. just being relaxed, going out there, having fun, um, playing hard. And so that, that's really what I focus on. Excellent. Well, Peter, we wish you the best of luck Thank this you. week against Colgate. And hopefully you guys can pull out the W <laughs> before the next time we see you. That's Peter right. McMahon, the junior captain of the Bryant Bulldogs lacrosse team. We'll be back with more of the Mike Pressler Show here on Cox Sports Television.